Another variable in the fabric of families' lives and related to family dynamics is the issue of conflict. Um, first of all, conflict, conflict is normal and healthy. It's really about what you do with the conflict that is important. Um, and in many medical situations, family members will not always agree on what should be done, when it should be done, how it should be done. So when I'm hearing the story from the patients and the families, I'm always interested in um, how that, it, number one, is there conflict? Is in this family, is part of their fabric, is it okay for people to have differences of opinions? Um, and if they have differences of opinion, is it okay to verbalize them and, and put it out there? Or do they have to keep it closed in and kind of suppress it? Um, and then that can lead to other difficulties um, down the road. Um, and if differences of opinion are allowed in the family, how does that get expressed? You know, how does that get shared? Is there a family meeting? Is it done on the telephone? Is it done calmly? Or are, are voices really very loud? Um, again, I have another example. I was talking to a patient, um, and she actually was getting, finishing, because she had, she had been getting chemotherapy, and she was talking about feeling a little disappointed um, in her support system. Um, on one hand, she would tell me that she has a very loving family who's there for her, and they have been bringing her for treatment. Um, but she wanted to tell me her feelings of disappointment. And she could say a couple of words, and then she'd say, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be sounding mean. And she would tell me a little bit more, and she'd say, I'm sorry, I don't want to give you the wrong impression of my family. And at one point, I actually said to her, I'm getting a sense that this is really difficult for you to tell me or share with me the full picture of what's going on with you and your support systems. And she said, yeah, it's really hard. And I said, I'm also wondering if in your family it, you weren't allowed to say anything that was not positive about somebody else. And she lit up and she said, that's exactly what goes on in my family. You know that old saying, if you can't say something good about somebody, don't say anything at all? And she said, that's exactly what happens in my family. I can't tell them how scared I am. I can't tell them how challenging all this has been. I said, what happens? They shut me off right away and they say, you're fine. You know. So in this family, and you know, this is a woman who's in her late 50s, and it was really a very important moment that she was able to realize that she has a very loving family. They have been there for her in some ways, but in other ways, they don't have any experience in, in hearing her talk about anything that isn't positive. So we, we kind of talked about how we might handle that. So that's just an example of how differences of opinions um, or Speaking the full truth is not always acceptable in families.